Welcome to another episode of Whitetail Rendezvous, coming to you six days a week as we interview whitetail experts and hear their traditions and personal stories of the hunt. Learn more about the latest gear, discover proven tips, and the latest strategies so you can make your next hunt a success. Now, here's your host, Bruce Hutchin. We are live. Yes, we are live. It's getting down to the, the tail end, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, definitely. Nick and I are just kind of laughing. Anyway, if you don't know Nick Piercy, um, yo, I don't. Nick is, is a guy that I got to know him in the Ira Deer class a couple of years ago. And I don't know how else to say it. He's one of the good guys in the business. No, he's thank just you. He's a great guy. He's got a great product, Pillow Food Plots. I've been waiting three days to get to sit down with him. <laughs> Been busy. Been his, a really good year list, here. <laughs> his list, his list is something else. Yeah, we're a little silly right now. But Nick, in thirty seconds or less, tell people why they should check out Killer Food Plots. Well, we're very unique in the product offerings we have uh, from our screening products, which are nineteen years that we've been doing and developing whitetail habitat, implementing the products. I raised deer in high fence for 11 years, really understand the nutrition, the digestion, and the absorption factor And for whitetail deer, and our products are designed to maximize that. In addition to that, the specific seed species that we have are for peak digestion, for complementing each other in the, in the ground to make sure that you have success and your dollars go to work for you. In addition to that, we have products that grow in from full sun down to only a couple hours of sun. Our deep woods is a perfect example. That'll grow in as few as two hours of sunlight. So those kind of tight, tucked away spots that you like to sneak back into and have a little food to stop your deer, deep woods can be a great option for you as well. We're excited about some new products that we've developed and released this year. Also, soil is a big factor when you're doing food plotting. Food plotting is soil test, understand, fix the soil, plug a few holes. You'll have a lot greater success for a $20 investment. So that's where everything that we do starts with education, making sure the customer understands what they need to do, and then making sure they apply the right products, plant the right seed product so they have success and maximize their time and money. Hey, Nick, you just mentioned some new products. Why don't you show me them? Sure, absolutely. We'll walk over here. Now, Retain is not necessarily brand new this year, but it's been, in 2018, it's been a new product that we've got into our customers' hands. And Retain is designed to absorb moisture, nutrients in the soil while breaking up compaction, allowing oxygen flow to the roots of the plant, maximizing, again, that growth. Now, if you live on the East Coast... I've been saying this a lot this weekend. You live on the East Coast, you'd swear you live in Seattle this year. It will not stop raining. And so our customers, who when we did some of the Virginia show and, and some of those that we spoke at ATA, some of the dealers that started carrying Retain, got their customers put this in the ground. Those customers have had some of the best growing they've ever had. That excessive moisture did not devastate their plots. Some of the folks that put in food plots that did not have the Retain, their food plots either got washed out or they drowned. The water table just kept rising and rising. Retain is capable, each one of those individual pellets is capable of holding 300 times its original weight in moisture and nutrients, grabbing it when it's available and then storing it for that drought or that dry period. When you have these big influx of water, it grab, grab, grab to make sure that you don't wipe out all your hard work and your money. Here is simply by using that, I'm going to keep more of my product in the ground. Yep, you're going to keep your nutrients in the ground. You're going to, you can see this here as you zoom in. You can see these pellets are about one fifth of what their capacity is for moisture and nutrient absorption. And what they're doing is they're storing up that water and nutrients. And as they do, they swell. And when they swell, they displace the soil, breaking up compaction. Oxygen is just as important as moisture in a parallel path for growing food plots and especially important in that hard time of the year in August, September, October when your deer really start to hammer the food plots. They need moisture and oxygen to recover quickly so they don't go down to nothing and you've got no food source. So that will help dramatically. What else you got to show us? So we're very excited. Now this has been seven years coming is our new product called Crop Duster, right? So a lot of our customers are dealing with properties that they either 
own themselves or they lease and they have property that's being farmed. Beans, corn, any type of a standing crop that will be harvested later in the fall, what you can do is you can overseed crop duster. It's made to go every fourth or fifth row with a broadcast seeder. You walk through the corn and broadcast that. Over your standing beans, you're able to broadcast this out as you walk, depending on the, the width of what your uh, seeder is spreading the seed. Broadcast it out and simply go back to watching the football game. You don't have to do anything more. Mother Nature will take care of it and killer food pots will take care of the rest. Once the crops are harvested and that sunlight hits the ground, they've established a root, they've established themselves, they will blow up from that extra sunlight. And at that point, if you want to fertilize them to keep them going throughout the winter months, this is designed to help replace the natural browse, the necessary carbohydrates, and the protein with our crimson clover that those whitetails are going to need during the pre-rut, rut, and post-rut time to help bridge the gap to spring. Also, the cereal grains are made to stimulate the digestive system in the deer, keep it functioning properly so they can keep their stamina, keep their energy, and keep maximizing what they're taking in, utilizing, absorbing it into their body so they don't get run down too far. So we're very excited about this product. Of course, our entire lineup of our uh, premier Killer Food Plot seed products are available at KillerFoodPlots.com and several retailers. We're excited to have signed some great contracts in the last year, Family Farm and Home and 18. So those are continuing to grow and branch. We've got a new announcement coming up soon, so stay tuned to that. Hopefully I can announce that with Bruce uh, live, but we're very excited about some of the things we've been able to do here at ATA and post or pre-ATA arrival for new outreach to multiple states so that you have access to killer food plots without having to pay that shipping. Again, tell people how they can get in touch with you or buy your product. You can reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram at Killer Food Plots. You can also go to KillerFoodPlots.com, reach out to us through that. We do property consultations. We do timber management for that do-it-yourselfer who wants to take their property to the next level. You can set up in a consultation with us, service we offer. We come out to the property in either a half day, full day. Um, you can also reach us at 616-550-8483 or again at KillerFoodPlots.com. Look forward to hearing from you. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask them. We're here to educate and we're here to help you be successful. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for listening to another episode of ATL Live with Bruce Hutchin of Whitetail Run. Folks, this is my last interview here at ATA 2019, and it's with Chris Stuckel. And Chris is from Neener, Wisconsin, so we, Chris and I spent a little time together yesterday talking about Wisconsin and deer hunting and, and all that. He developed a knife, and, and that's why we're talking uh, about it, because he was down here talking to folks at ATA manufacturing stuff about his new life, and I wanted to give him the opportunity to present Field Torque to you, my listeners. Chris, take it away. <laughs> well, I came up with the idea of the field torque knife a few years ago and have been adjusting it, making uh, the right curves to it, to the design, and making sure that it was functional in all of the ways that it was anticipated to be made, as well as making a safer experience for all hunters. Uh, what we want to do is uh, make the, the uh, like I said, a safer type of experience as well as to improve the efficiency that you can field dress an animal, all big game animals actually with this particular knife. Holding it like this, you have a zip blade. This is sort of a ski type of tip right here, and that will glide over the stomach wall, and basically you will not cut that stomach wall at all. So you can unzip it from the stern, sternum, all the way down to the tail end. Now, if turning it over like this, you have a pelvic bone cutting and a sternum bone cutting device. These are both optimally shaped in terms of like unzipping as well as cutting bone. We have a piece right here. This is called the torque assist. And what you do is slide that on over the top of that blade. And what that does is creates a fulcrum point, which is uncuttable. It does break under extreme pressure, but that is because we want it to act as a relief valve in case there is too much pressure so we don't damage our knife. So when you're using it to cut bone, you would slide it on there and just go ahead and use like a ratcheting motion 
And what that's going to do is cut through that pelvic bone, that sternum bone. If you, if you do cut through that, it makes it a lot easier. And you don't have to. It's just an added functionality of the knife. Underneath, you'll see that it's not sharpened, so it's not going to impact the bladder at all. Um, like Unlike any other cutting device, like a hatchet perhaps, or a saw, they have uh, some disadvantages there. So taking that off, then we can go ahead and use a little bit longer blade is on top. Three quarters of an inch is approximately all you need to cut through the diaphragm and the windpipe and then remove all the internal organs from there very quickly. When I started field dressing deer, I was very slow. I was using a, a regular traditional knife doing this and 15 minutes I think is what it took me and that's probably about average for your average hunter. But after developing this knife, I have the field dressing process. I'm down to three minutes, and I can actually go faster than that if I really wanted to. But I'm stopping for photographs and videoing and things like that, and explaining as I go. So it really has improved the efficiency, the safety, the effectiveness of field dressing. And like I said, it works on all big game animals, deer all the way up to elk. So cutting pelvic bone on an elk is, is the same methodology as cutting it on a deer. The pressure that it takes in order for it to cut bone is about 28 pounds of upward handle pressure. So it doesn't take a lot. The thicker the bone, the more pressure that you're going to have to apply. Um, elk is going to be probably about 40 pounds of upward pressure. So we're really making this field dressing process a lot safer, faster, and combining the number of tools that it takes into one. So that's, that's basically Why did you create it? There was a guy in northern Minnesota who had a fatal hunting accident. He took his traditional drop point style knife and was field dressing his game animal. And he went ahead and uh, was doing the uh, field dressing and slipped and it accidentally punctured his femoral artery in his leg. So with that drop point style blade, a lot of them have that and that is that is a puncturing type of point. This is more of a blunt point. So you can run this into a leg or an arm or anything like that and it's not going to have that same effect. It is just going to bounce off and you'll be completely safe. So had he been using a field torque knife there would have been a, a different outcome to his situation. So where did you get the idea yeah. for the design? Where did that come from? In the deep corners recesses of my mind. <laughs> just basically I look at things, I'm a process improvement engineer and what I do is I look at things to improve them the way my mind works is I'm able to take something, a concept, and visualize how it'll work. And so that same evening that I heard about the injury or the fatality, I sat down at the kitchen table and designed a knife that essentially looks like the one that you're seeing today. That's amazing. I think it's amazing the design. You have a pattern in Yes. A patent on it. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah. So to see something like that, and my one question, how do you sharpen that? Sure, yeah, I do have the sharpener here with me today. And actually, that is the number one question that I got when I was first starting to show people the knife, is how do you sharpen something that has that distinct, unique shape to it? So it is simply a filet knife sharpener. Two stage, one is coarse, the other is fine. And you just hold with the long blade down is probably the easiest. And you drop it on here bring it to the back and you turn it like you do a key and it gets the entire blade angle that entire inside radius is sharpened then just like that if you want ceramic to concentrate sticks, then? yep ceramic sticks puts the correct blade angle on it every time so you have a very sharp knife and it's ready to go it actually holds an edge extremely well that's another question that I get all the time is how well does it hold an edge even cutting through bone so to answer that, we went to a game farm and I gave one of my knives to the owner of that game farm and I said, just use it the way you're supposed to use it, cutting through bone, cutting hide, flesh, that sort of thing. And he was able to use it on 28 deer before it was dull enough to the point where he was like, we really need to sharpen this. I recommend not going that far, of course, and probably every couple animals, you know, just touch it up. It's so easy to do. I think that's amazing. Is there any competition there is none in this space. There are separate products, of course, that you can get. You can have your, your hatchets and your saws and that sort of thing. Add that weight to your backpack and that purchase in a store. And then also you have the knives, which are multifunctional in terms of separate blades. So they might have a saw blade, 
They might have a gut hook blade, they have a regular drop point blade, but there is no product out there that has all of that functionality built into one tool. Yeah, and I would agree, there's a lot of blades that will do all the jobs mm-hmm. that you're saying that Field Talk Knife will do. So I just think that's amazing. What was their reception down here at ATA? It is amazing. People, as soon as they see it, they wonder what exactly it is. It isn't exactly an intuitive product. You need to really be able to get a hold of the, a grasp of the concept of how you use it and be thinking about that. So when you're thinking about field dressing and then you see the knife, you can kind of put the pieces together. But if I were to show this to somebody, hunter out on the street perhaps, and maybe he's not in the mindset of field dressing a deer, you would probably say, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a bottle opener. So without the aid of maybe getting the correct mindset, it's kind of hard to get that concept into your mind. But once they do have that, the reception is like, wow, that's amazing. Why didn't somebody think of this before? We also have reviews online that say basically the same thing. They take it out field dressing and they're just amazed by how well and how fast it actually works. Thanks for mentioning online. How do people find you online? Yes, you can go out to fieldtorqueknives.com or fieldtorque.com. It resolves to the same URL. And that is, I'll spell it out, F-I-E-L-D-T-O-R-Q, M-K-N-I-V-E-S, drop the U-E off field torque. It's F-I-E-T-O-R-Q. How about Facebook, Instagram? We are on Facebook, and that's just look for keyword field torque. And uh, we're on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we do post videos and as well as images out on, on Instagram, and people really enjoy seeing those instances of that. Well, let's get a close-up and sure. wrap the show. Okay. So we have two types. One is pocket wood. The top one here that you see has mosaic pins, pocket wood. It is five thirty seconds of an inch thick, or about four millimeters. Uh, both of them are made of the same material. That's eight CR thirteen MOV. It's a high carbon stainless steel, and uh, they both have the same blade design. Very uh, effective tools. This orange one has uh, some checkering on it, as well as thumb jimping here on the back. And this material is fiberglass reinforced nylon. Extremely tough stuff. Any last words to my listeners? I would uh, check us out online. Do your research. They're also out on Amazon.com as well as Amazon.ca. And you can look at the reviews out there as well as on my website. And just safe out there. And and hopefully you are successful uh, next time you get out in the woods. Chris Stuckles, thank you so much for being a guest on Whitetail Rondo ATA 2019. I appreciate it, Bruce. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Hey folks, I thought I was done, but Byron's out, they're just a joy, and they're just a bunch of great guys from, from Texas, and Big Sandy, Texas actually, and Byron South, with Convergent Hunting Solutions, and, and they got squealers and talkers, and you name it, <laughs> if, you, if you want to kill predators, you better check out Convergent Solutions. So Byron, welcome to the show. You bet. Well, uh, like you said, my name is Byron South. I mean, if you uh, never heard of me, you might Google me. And uh, some people say that I kill more louder. Some people say I kill more coyotes and anthrax. I don't know about that, but I have a, a good time doing it and love doing it. Never get tired of killing coyotes. We call hogs coyotes with a convergent system. We built apps to cover any species you know that's legal to call with electronic calls. We also make a, a line of hand calls. Our flagship product is the, called the Bullet HP. Now this is what we call the Bullet HP. Collapses down here, all this goes inside. You open it up, turn it on. Got a little stake here, it goes in the bottom. I mean, you stick it in the ground so it doesn't fall over. But what that does by expanding like that, it, it gets that speaker up off the ground, it gets this decoy up where you can see it. Now what's neat about this system and what it, how it separates us from other game calls in industry, we run off of Bluetooth. We take uh, your $600 smartphone that you already own, and we use that for your remote. And how we do that is we built an app. Now I can connect to that caller and that decoy up to 300 feet away, and I can operate it all. Very intuitive app. You've got all your sounds here. You choose a sound, hit play, comes right through the speaker, turn your decoy on and off. Of course, you can't see that. Okay, well, turn the decoy back on. Okay, turn the decoy on, turn the call on. 
I can operate that all up to 300 feet away just from a cell phone. It needs no cell service. It's all connected between the call and, and your phone. What's neat about this phone mount, now you don't have to hold your phone or a remote control in your hand. It's mounted to your rifle. We make the phone mount and we make it to where you can use your camera on your phone now to record your hunt. So now I can not only call in a coyote and film it, I can have it on YouTube before I get up. If I have cell service, I'm on Instagram within minutes. So that's really cool. I can zoom, two power, four power, back to one power just to the touch of a button. Being that it's mounted to the side of my gun, you can mount it to the top. Wherever you have a Picatinny rail, you can mount this. It keeps you from having to move very much or ever having to look down at a remote. A uh, very handy system, has a lifetime warranty made in Euless, Texas. All of our products are made in the USA. This is actually made in Salt Lake. Really neat product, has a lifetime warranty made in the USA. We use a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. And while that's significant, the reason we use the lithium ion battery is every other game call in the industry uses a, a AA battery. Whether they use 1 or 20, it doesn't matter. That's only going to put out 1.5 volts. Even if you have 20 in there, it's still only going to put out 1.5 volts. Our starts with 3.7 volts, so that gives us enough power to where our speaker options are, are a lot better. We have a lot higher quality speakers than anybody else in, in the industry and, and enough power to, to run them. This system will run over 10 hours continuous use, which translates into over a full weekend of calling between battery charges. You'll never have to buy a battery again and you have more power than anybody else on the, in the industry and you have better sound quality than anybody else in the industry. Best thing is made in the USA and has a lifetime warranty. Our customer service is second to none, so if you ever buy a convergent product, you're part of the family and we'll take care of you. About it, I'm sure I missed anything, but if you have any more questions, you can go to our website. Well, we got another sample we got to look at. Sure. This is a new product, and uh, let me turn this decoy off. We've got a new product we're releasing right here at the show. This is actually a prototype. It'll be available to buy in March. This is a tiny little call. It uses the same system, app. You plug your app to it, or plug your phone to it, direct to the speaker. This whole, whole deal weighs 9.6 ounces. A lot of people, when they see this, they think, what about sound quality? Is that a toy? It's absolutely not a toy. We get over 100 decibels of volume, not just volume, clean, crisp audio out of this thing. It sounds incredible. We have people actually waiting on this. They're going to use it for tailgate parties. It sounds phenomenal. You can actually plug this to your speaker and use it for an external, plug it to your computer and use it for an external speaker for your computer. But what's really handy about this, it's a weapons mounted deal. You guys are hunting nights, a lot of tournaments and stuff. That way you don't have to set the call out. You just, you're ready to go. Just as soon as you get on sticks, fire your app up, turn the call on, and those codes are coming right to the end of your gun. Really handy product. We're really excited about that. Again, this is a prototype. These will be shipping in March. So what are you most excited about, Convergent? What's the thing that has you most excited about the company? I'm one of the owners, and, you know, I've been in the industry for over 20 years, and what's so exciting to me about Convergent is the things that I've always wanted to help other manufacturers do that always said, yeah, but, I don't have that yeah, but now. I own the company, me and a partner actually own the company, and we do anything we want to. As a caller, that means a lot to me because I'm not a manufacturer building a call for the industry. I'm a manufacturer building a caller for a caller, the caller that I want. After 30 years, 40 years of calling coats, I have a pretty good idea of what a guy needs. It's all in here. That excites me because I don't have to settle for what somebody else thought I needed. Well, folks, from this man, uh, Mr. Byron South, he's excited, he's passionate about what he's got going with Convergent Hunting Solutions. So, Hey, how do they find you on the web? You can go to our website. We're at uh, convergenthunting.com. Uh, you can call us. Our phone number at the office is 903-636-4222. Where somebody is there to answer the phone 9 to 5 every day, Central Time. I encourage you to go to our website again, convergenthunting.com. We have tons of video and information on there that will show you how this product works, actual hunts in the field, some instructions, all that kind of stuff. Really cool stuff. Well, thank you, Byron, for spending a few moments with me. I sure as heck enjoyed you. And you hope to make it to Texas someday and shoot some yokes. Come on. 
Thanks for joining us. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode of Whitetail Rendezvous, where you can listen and learn from the experts so you can be more successful on your next hunt. Until next time, listen, learn, and succeed.